welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I talked in my videos and for today's video, I'll be giving you guys my Arky must-haves. So just a disclaimer, this is based from my experience. So these are the things that I needed in my first year of college. And hopefully I can help all of you guys in figuring out what you guys need. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll be needing for Arky are pencils, of course. So the basic ones are HB, B, F, and H, I think. So these are the pencils you'll be needing. So for me, I just use the alternate ones. So the even number is 2B, 4B, but for me, I hope you guys would have the HB first and one in F and one in B. So those are the um, needed ones, in my opinion. And then for darker colors, I suggest you get a 2B and a 4B. Obviously, this one's not sharpened yet because I haven't been drafting for so long. For the next essential in drafting, these are your pens. So your pens could be tech pens or this ones, the uni pin ones. But um, some schools actually, I'm not sure, but I think some schools require you to use tech pens, which are the refillable ones. But I had those and <laughs> I gave up on it because it was harder to use in my opinion. So I just go back to the Unipin ones and same with the pencils, just use an alternate number. I have 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. You can also get the next numbers. It just depends on your preference. And I suggest you also guys get the, I hope it's focusing, it's the 0 0.05 one. Because sometimes I need a really, really fine tip, so this is useful. So the next things you'll be needing are triangles. So these triangles should be in 1 in 45 and 1 in 60. So um, basically you use this for angles, diagonal lines. You can also use it for vertical lines with the assistance of your T-square. Next ones are furniture templates. I suggest you get one is to 100 or one is to 50. Those are the basic scales. And then you can also get um, circular templates or elliptical templates if you don't want to use a compass. Where is my compass? Oh, the compass. But I usually just use this if I really need a bigger circle. And I suggest you guys get the one with an adapter so you can use it for your pens. And for straight rulers, we have the metal ruler. So this metal ruler can be used for scale models. So if you use plastic rulers for scale models using an X-Acto knife or a cutter, um, you'll get like bumps on your ruler and that's not nice. I also have it in a longer one. This is, I'm not sure, this is 24 inches. 24 inches and 1 in 12. So I use this for bigger models, para faster mag cut. And for the plastic ruler, I got the Muji one because there's like a grid already for your 0.5 cm allowance. So this will be handy when you don't want to measure that much. In Make your drafting faster. Okay. Next ruler is your scale ruler. So this is the triangular scale. So there are a lot of scales in this type. Um, just choose the one you'll be needing. But I specifically have the one in one is to 100, one is to 20, one is to 50. Those are the common ones. So I think I suggest you guys buy that. And instead of buying those fan scales, I suggest you buy this because it's easier to use for measuring. And of course, um, you cannot be an Archie student without this. This is your T-square. So 
this T square is from Rothring. This is 36 inches. I suggest you get the 36 inches than this one than the 24 one because it's this is longer and um there are options if you can buy like a wooden one or a plastic one but for me i opt to buy the plastic one because it's easier to clean and yes tip is to always clean your rulers because um sometimes it has like a mark of a pen like this yeah that one and it can smudge your new plate Essential is a, uh, what do you call this, a uh, plate, a tube, a drawing tube, um, just that it's all for your drafting needs. But since everything is online now, I don't think you'll be needing these. But if we're going to have these classes, you'll be needing this. So we have papers here. I totally forgot I had these. <laughs> but anyway, these are papers. And for your scale model um, things, please don't use Mighty Bond Elmer's glue. <laughs> it will make your life harder. So just buy the one in B7000 or D7000. I don't know what these are called, but um, we use this for scale models. And for your cutting, materials you can use a cutter or an exacto knife um, make sure to have like a refill for the blades so you don't run out and for your scale models it is important you have a cutting mat so you can buy a bigger one if you have um siguro an a2 size or an a3 size some other things you'll be needing are like, um, of course, eraser. And I also have like an electric eraser that does spins. This is much more useful for scale models because I usually use this for scale models just to remove the excess glue. But um, it is nice when it has a fine tip so you don't have to use like an erasing shield. But I never used this. I tried but it wasn't for me but if you're finding one, I know there is one in Shopee of course. Another essential in my first year in Archie is a uh, drawing lighting board. I don't know what you call this. A lighting board. Basta it glows and you can use it for tracing. Very very handy but if you guys have a drafting table, I suggest you guys buy the transparent one. I'll be showing a clip here of my drafting table, but it has a light on the other side, on the other side, at the back, so you guys can easily trace when needed. For rendering um, the colors, the markers, so I have here my alcohol markers. So these are from Cure Color. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Cure Color because they call it Cure, Cure Color. I don't know, but um, important colors are the cool gray ones and the warm gray ones. Depends on what shade you like. Um, always get the alternate numbers. Para sulit yung color nyo, kasi kapag magkusunod yung color, it's literally like the same shade and it's a waste of money. And I suggest you guys buy blues. Um, not too much blues, you can just get like one blue and then um, different shades of green. And then some muted tones like beige and browns. That can get you started with your marker journey. And there are other brands out there like um, Copic. That is more expensive. So I was supposed to buy that, but um, they have a lot of colors, a lot of ranges, and it's easier to collect the colors from Curic than with them. And there are also options in Shopee that you can get in a set, though the disadvantage with that is there are colors that you won't be using. It's just like bright pinks. Yeah. So it just really depends on your option, but uh, whatever is available and more affordable for you. 
for rendering as well, you guys can purchase like colored pencils either from Faber Castell or Prismacolor. Color. Twenty-four colors are enough. You can blend it together. Just make sure to not get the watercolor version of the Faber Castell. I had that mistake, and it was harder to blend together. And for watercolor, and for watercolor, um, I forgot the other brand that they suggested us to buy, but I had this before now. So if you guys have like existing watercolor, it's fine. I have the Koi one. And UP Arky, they'll let you try colored pencils, the watercolor, the markers. And for design classes, they just let you do whatever you want. So just try everything, every medium, and pick uh, the best one for you. For papers, I suggest you guys buy short size papers. It really depends on the school, whatever they ask to buy. But we specifically use A4 papers or A3 papers. Sometimes we also get like 15 by 20 papers or 20 by 30. So those are the specific sizes they give us. And um, for larger papers, I don't think they'll be giving that for first year. But if you guys um, would need that, I suggest you just wait for your prof's instruction rather than buying ahead. And for scale models, you guys can buy Sintra boards, vellum boards, those are the sturdier ones, and also cardboard and uh, foam boards. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. And I'll be leaving a Notion link down below of all the things I mentioned here so you guys can easily um, have a checklist of the things you'll be needing for your first year in RP. And for buying these materials, I suggest you just check um, Shopee or Lazada. And I think most, if not all, of these materials are already there. And Jollies or Start101 has a Shopee account, so you guys can purchase from them the materials you'll be needing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And for next week's video, I'll be posting a Q&A about UP Arky or Arky in general, whatever your questions are. So please comment your questions down below. I'll be making a Q&A thread. So um, also, if you guys are an incoming freshie in UP Arky, please also say hi in the comment section so I can say hi to you guys as well. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.